Good day, everybody. Welcome to another edition of a Tom Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Juan Frites. Let's go. All right. So here's the deal, guys. We had a movie marathon yesterday. We watched three movies. We spent literally nine hours, I think, at the theaters, right? Between... Yes, it was terrible. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> so we watched, we watched uh, Spider-Man, Edge of the Spider-Verse. We watched Bumblebee, and we watched Aquaman. We're going to give you three separate reviews, but right now we're going to start with the first one. I fell one. asleep in all three of them. <laughs> the, first, the first one we're going to start with is Spider-Man, Edge of the Spider-Verse. Quick disclaimer, we are spoiling the, the webs out of this one. So if you haven't seen the movie, now's your chance to stop right now if you don't want those spoilers. First off, so here we go in three, two, one, Edge of the Spider-Verse. Wanski. Great. Next. Great. <laughs> You're a dick. Come on. Seriously. What? It was a great movie. It's the best one out of all of them. Okay, well, that that's debatable. That's debate. It was very good though. First, I think the animation, hands down. Debatable how? To me, it's the best uh oh, what, the, it's the best this, superhero the, movie this year. What? Yeah. You, th you think Over it's better? Avengers, yes. You think it's better than Infinity War? It's better than Infinity War. Holy crap, that Absolutely. is that is a super bold statement. Infinity War wasn't a good real good movie. It was just like fan service. Oh it my. wasn't it wasn't structured like a movie. I said that in my review. It was it was great for us to who've been waiting for ten years, it was, but it wasn't it was, a it was basically a Thanos movie. Sh no, right, sure. Like maybe. Oh my god. But it wasn't even structured like a movie. This was the tightest best superhero movie this year oh my goodness that is such a bold statement yeah the music was on point the soundtrack was excellent oh my goodness the, you're gonna make all the black panther fans upset black panther was a mediocre marvel movie as well <laughs> I, I i i wouldn't say mediocre but it was nowhere near what everyone's making well by made. mediocre i mean it's like halfway it's like in the middle of the pack yeah i agree and to me black yeah. panther is not it's, it's not better than ant-man it's the same to me yeah like well, it's not all right, wait, it's a wait, bad wait. movie. All right, so so what we, we had Ant Man and Wasp, we had Avengers Infinity War, we had Black Panther, Edge right. of the Spider Verse, we just saw Aquaman and Venom. Were yes. there any other ones? Um I don't remember. It's been I don't know. There's so many now. Yeah. Did really D C not do anything this year other than Aquaman? I could have sworn Was Justice League this year? No. Nah. No, it was last year. Yeah, it was November last year. <laughs> Yeah, it was well, just Aquaman. Uh, sure. Well, just going by that, I will. I, I stand by by it that. Uh, wow, that's still a very bold statement. Wow. Yeah. So. What'd you like about the movie? There was there was not one bad thing in that movie. Um. Listen. I, 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 let's look. I'm gonna start with the characters that they used. Uh, the weakest things in the movie was maybe the. Uh, the others. Uh, the other Spider Men. Little uh, anime Spider-Man girl. Oh, really? You think so? I thought she was cute. Yeah. Uh, Spider-Ham was a little annoying, as yeah, he should yeah, be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but C I don't know. Come man. a little, come a little closer. I, yeah. don't, I didn't find any faults in the movie, dude. Um, first of all, shout out to Brian Michael Bendis. I know you're a hater, but he created Miles. Sure. And the, and the, and and the supporting cast for Miles. There was a nice little shout out to him there. A couple shout outs uh, yeah. in the phone. In the, when he was in the phone. And also on the comic books yes. when they came down. Because uh, when they introduced each Spider Man, they gave a little backstory on their origin because they're all similar but a little different, you know? Um, I This takes place in what I assume is the ultimate universe. No. I believe that this actually ta this takes place um, in the, uh, the Raimi Spider Man verse. You think so? A hundred percent. Didn't you see how they recreated those they, movies? They did recreate those movies. Sure, they did. But and, the, and that was the Spider-Man that. No, no, I'm sorry. Wait, was it that one? Yeah, it was. But in why? That why was Peter Blonde then? He looked like the Scarlet Spider. It was the, the other ben one. Riley spider. So maybe the recreation was the the Peter that comes from the other dimension, the divorced Peter. I don't know. Well, they recreated it. They yes. recreated the Sam Raimi movies. Like, oh, they did in the beginning. Yes. In the beginning. When Peter told his story. They, right. They, so yeah. that's yeah. canon. That exists. Yes. Um, yes. So it, I'm, it might not take place, but oh, we, you say Ultimate, obviously, because Miles Morales appeared in the Ultimate Universe in the comics. Well, that yeah, that's... that's yeah, Ultimate yeah. Fallout 4. Yeah, that's that that's where his origin right. was, yes. And and the origin story of him was very close, similar, a uh, little different. Um the, the spider came from Alchemex versus uh, Osborne Industries. Alchemex, sure. Alchemex is uh, the, the the big corporation in the twenty ninety nine verse. Hmm? What do you talk? 
I'm sorry? The Sex Panther? Damien's claiming to be the Sex Panther, guys. Ah, uh, guys, yes. So if you are lonely for Christmas, yes. call Damien the Sex Panther. The Sex Panther. And make sure you go row. Row. Yes, yes. Damien, row. Check with Diamond. That's where we got it from. It should be, uh, yeah. they should be seventeen ninety nine. They're around 18. Yeah. Damien the Sex Panther. Sex Panther is fantastic. <laughs> I see it now, too. I can't unsee I see, it. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. I know. We go, we, we got, we, His living room is like quagmires. <laughs> <laughs> he goes in, lets his like silver hair loose, <laughs> like fucking music starts playing. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Anyways, um, I I loved the Peter Parker from the the, the broken Peter, <clears throat> um, the divorcee. Not something I've seen before. Yeah. Yeah, we've never seen Spider Man broken like that. You and, know? and seriously broken and afraid and, and not yeah. confident and Yeah. Just and gave up on life. Completely different than, than the young Peter we always see in the movies. The yeah. guy that's just becoming Spider Man, right? Yeah, yeah. This um, was this was a very bold move on Sony's behalf to really And it worked. It it worked great. Yeah. It worked um I I, I thought it was great. Yeah. Yeah, it it was it was really good. Um I loved going into the, the voices. They nailed the voices on all the characters. Man. Voices were great. I mean, right down to to Peter to not Peter to Miles' dad. Yeah. Um. Who is was that Idris Elba? I no. I think it was the guy um, from Moonlight. Uh-huh. He was also he, okay. he's in the, he's in the new season of a uh, of True Detective. Okay. I forget what his name is. I think it's um, him. he was even his mom who didn't have a big part. Like yeah. they, you know, what's fun? Like they nailed her. The way that she talked to him really sounded like Puerto Rican. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because, you know, there's, like, little differences between Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, and Cubans, how we Abs- all talk. Absolutely. And yeah. they even nailed that. Like, the, this movie was really, really well done. All the voices were great. I, I loved Prowler. Prowler was fantastic. Prowler, I think that was common, right? Yeah. I think that's common that did his voice. Pro- Prowler was like, come a little cl- why, why are you afraid of me? Come closer. We want to make sure you're on the screen. <laughs> yeah. And they used them well. The weird, uh, the sound effects when he was on screen. Great, yeah, great. Um, I could use a little more Ganky or Gonky, however you say his name. Mm-hmm. And they they trimmed the weight off of him too. Yeah, he was thin in this movie or thinner. No, yeah. because in the comic books he's a, he's a heavy set Asian guy. Sure. Um, but and he hardly spoke at all. He just was on his uh, uh, other and and Miles headphones. like listen, dude, they nailed him. Miles was, is great. Look, listen, let me. I, t- I want more. What whatever they did with Miles, that was fantastic. Uh, Miles was the star of the movie. Nobody missed Peter Parker in this movie. No one did. Yeah, yeah. Miles. Miles definitely. He, he's a modern take on a classic hero, and, and a good one, and relatable. Great, yeah. Relatable to the young people. Yeah. Yeah. For very sure. relatable. And yeah. uh, I have to say, man, they nailed Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen was great too. We're we're gonna see a surge in popularity in her character based on this movie alone. Yeah. Yeah. Because they really nailed her. I could see. Uh, it was it was just great. All the characters. How about Sony? Just you know. Batting a thousand on their Spider-Man stuff. Venom was a huge hit. They've already announced Venom two. This is the number one movie in America right now. They seem like they figured um, it out. And and it doesn't it doesn't look like uh, Disney and the MCU are going to get the right. This, yeah, this Spider-Man is not good news for ever. For, this you is know? not good news for Disney. Yeah, and and shout out to Aviar. But, but Aviera, not just Aviera, ever. I mean, Sony now has a little bit of uh, leverage when it comes to allowing now Disney to use Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. I think Sony has figured out that they don't need to have Peter Parker be the lead in every movie to make that universe work. Correct. Yeah. You know, we saw Eddie Brock Venom. Now we see Miles Morales. I wouldn't doubt, like you said, that we see a Spider-Gwen movie. Um, I, I think that Sony is better off if they're going to do some type of Spider-Verse. As much as I liked, I enjoyed Venom, um, I think making a Spider-Verse off of this movie would be better for them. A live action? Huh? No. I think they're gonna make a sequel to this movie, and because they they mention spoilers, kids. Uh, at the at the end at the end credit scene had Spider Man twenty ninety nine, and right. that the Spider Verse is intact, and you can travel now. Right. Yeah. It kind of reminds me. There was this game called uh, Spider Man Shattered Dimensions, which is kind of the same thing. Do you think they ripped off Shattered Dimensions? Yeah. Speaking of Spider Man and all his different incarnations, how badass was going into that shed? 
and seeing all the suits Tony Stark armor oh, style. Yeah, and they and they uh they saved the they they had the PS4 game. They had the PS4 uh, Spider Man suit yeah, there. That suits they, made they had they had the stealth suit. Mm -hmm. uh, they had they had the actual Miles Morales suit that he has in the comic books, sure. which is the one that he took yeah. and, but redid. I think uh, his cla his classic suit they had they had uh I think they had the the um. The, did they have the superior suit? They had the Iron Spider suit from uh -huh. Infinity War in there, yeah. which I'm surprised they got away with that. Yeah, <laughs> you know? that was great. Sony probably was like, listen, yeah. How about Spider-Ham making the Looney Tunes reference? Yeah. Saying, that's all, folks. Can we legally do that? Right. <laughs> no, it was... Yeah. It really came together. This, yeah. this, you, you, If you're a Spider-Man fan, if you just like Mar superheroes in general, this is just a good movie. Yeah, yeah. The art style was worked, man. It really worked. The, the soundtrack... They nailed it. Nailed the soundtrack. Art style was great. Listen, I regret we didn't see it in 3D. Uh, yeah, 100%. Like, see this in 3D. See yeah. this in 3D. Like, it looked like it was in 3D. Like, right. you saw the two colors like, yeah. next to each other. Right. Like, I can't imagine what an eye fuck it is in 3D. I'm like, I almost want to go see it again. I, I, I was in 3D. I might go see that in 3D this weekend. <laughs> like, I just, I, I kind of want to see. I'll, this is a the movie difference. I'll watch again, and I would definitely watch it in 3D. Yeah, yeah. Definitely good. Definitely, you guys should check it out. Spider Man Enter the Spider Verse uh, from Sony Pictures. Sony is doing great work over in the Spider Man Verse. Venom. Already announced number two, Spider-Man. They're definitely going to make a sequel to this for sure. Um, not to mention the animation movies don't cost as much as the live-action ones. Right. And if they're banking the way they are in this, it appeals to kids, it appeals to adults. It's the Pixar formula in a sense. And and I don't feel like this was really heavily marketed anyway. It wasn't. It really for wasn't. For it to be doing what it's doing, this is complete word of mouth. That's how good this movie is. I'm curious to see if it retains the number one spot or if Bumblebee, Aquaman, or Mary Poppins dethrone it this weekend. We're in Christmas weekend, by the way, guys. It's going to be dethroned. I, it probably will. Yes. Yeah. Um, Mary Poppins or Aquaman? I don't think Bumblebee. It's, it's not going to be Mary Poppins. You think Aquaman's going to be Aquaman? It? Yeah, Aquaman. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I like Aquaman. Anyways, uh, so something just broke. The Sex Panther. The Sex Panther broke. <laughs> Dam Damien, Damien broke his 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 his, his bottle of Sex Panther. Is the Sex Panther okay, Damien? He said, "Yes, good. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, yeah ladies or gents. <laughs> Anyways, um, so uh, w w was that it on that one? Yeah, man. You want to comment on the soundtrack or soundtrack was good. Animation was great. Uh, uh some people did complain about um the uh, character design of Kingpin, and I thought it fit the movie really well. I thought Kingpin was great. Yeah." Kingpin was basically the main villain too. Sure. We saw Green Goblin briefly. He was kind of a awesome. The ultimate version. The ultimate version? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. And and but more like a sidekick <coughs> henchman. Yeah. To Kingpin. Tombstone was great. Doc Ock. He always said why well, I didn't like Doc Ock. I'm not gonna lie. I like Doc Ock a lot. I didn't like her. I didn't like her at all. Yeah. Uh she was probably my least favorite part of the movie. Mm -hmm. Um but Tombstone, I think they nailed. He only said one line the whole thing, but sure. he, but he looked spot on. Yeah, like Tombstone was great. Um, who else did they have in there? That was Prowler, of course, which was amazing. Whose spoilers dead now? Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, because he was great. Um, and that's it, right? It's crazy. If, and, and what's now funny? Now about Nick Cage as as Spider Man Noir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was interesting. Interesting yeah. choice. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's it's interesting if they're gonna go down this route already in this. Uh, animated series where there are, there might actually be death to characters and consequences too. Uh, yeah. Cuz the fact that Prowler died, I mean, Homecoming didn't do anything like that. Everyone was just in prison. Nobody dies. I know. So I know. I know. It'll be interesting to see what they do. Uh, I expect I expect I think we expect a sequel to this movie and more. Oh, and Peter Parker dying also. Peter Parker dying was huge. I did not expect that. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking pretty, Peter Parker pretty, in the Miles Morales universe. universe. Pretty brutally, Blonde. too. Brutally, yeah, Kingpin just beat the crap out yeah. of him. Like, beat him to death. Yeah, yeah. And Kingpin, his whole motive for, for the movie was trying to get back his dead wife and kid. Vanessa. Vanessa, which is just like the Daredevil show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's all about his wife, Vanessa. Sure. So, yeah. Good movie. Yeah. You love Vanessa, right? Mm? You love Vanessa, right? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I know who does love Vanessa. <laughs> Inside joke, kids. So watch uh, Spider Man. Yeah, watch well, three D preferable. Uh, three. Yeah, well, I mean, we're talking shit. It could be the same thing. It could be. It could be. 
But it looked great, guys. So yeah, for sure, check out Spider Man Enter the Spider Verse. Uh, this is you think that it's a better movie to watch in theaters, right? You know what? There it was a lot going on on screen. There's a lot going on on screen for sure, but it's so tough for me to say what's a better versus what's, because like home theater systems are so good nowadays. You know, I think the only reason to go see a movie in the theater is just to see it and talk about it before everyone else. You know? No, I I think that a movie like Spider Verse is, is better enjoyed in the movie theater. Uh, something like Aquaman as well, just because there's so much on screen. So much, yeah. Right, where like a movie like Bumblebee, it wouldn't have mattered. We could have seen that on a 10-inch TV. Oh, we'll get to that. And and that, that transition... But you, you understand what I, I mean. I understand but... what you're saying. Go see the movie anyways. Of course, we support all these movies. They keep coming to us. And uh, so this is part one of our movie marathon. Go check out Spider-Man Enter the Spider-Verse. Check us out at our three locations. One here, right here in Pember Pines, where we're at on Pines Boulevard, Just East University. We have another one on Miami on 107th and 8th Street across from FIU. And then our newest location at Coral Gables on Lejeune Road, just off of US1, next to Havana Harry's across from the shops at Merrick Park. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics, or just search Corker Comics. Follow us, like us on all the necessary social social channels and until then for a Tom Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corkum. One. Later.